more of my kipper get to the point oh one of them's upside down oh maybe that one was okay so I have them in different colors okay yeah they all all different kinds of ways child they were, my daughter did this because she woo! I bless the child I love my baby but I don't know what was going on in her head that she did not fix these cards right but anyway I do them in different colors um so I want to do some more yellows but I ran out of index cards and the way that I make my cards uh what's the word sturdier like not flimsy it's like one piece of one piece of a um let me show you guys because i like things neat decent and in order okay that's just how i is that's just how i is okay so all these sides are yellow so i can see them because y'all know my eyes be being compromised so this is all i have left in the yellow i don't think i have no more over there at all Oh, shooky dooky. Yeah, all of the side that I write on has to be yellow so I can see what it's saying. All of them is yellow. So this is, I got to order some. I'm going to order some more right now. Because I do make my own Oracle cards. And um, it takes too much ink to kind of put a co cover art on it. But anyway, so let me show you guys what I did. Okay, so. Because I'm really, really, really serious about my psychic intuitive counseling sessions okay and i like to get in deep and you know yeah so here we go here's one to show perfectly so i like every side like this to be in yellow so i can see it um and then this side can be orange or pink because it really pops i just like the way it just pops so what i did was this is one index card and this is another with the line side. See how it has the lines? So I'm going to show you guys what I did. So I take, like this going to be the back, right? I write, Kipper, get to the point deck, Oracle cards down here. Kipper, get to the point deck, Oracle cards. And then I literally, okay, let me see. Yeah. I literally take some glue got to use this Elmer's kind. This works the best in order for you to, to laminate and then cut. My daughter does all the cutting because she has a perfect way of cutting the, the corners and making it curved and not sharp so it can scratch you. Um, so this will be the, the cover side just like this. And then this side will be the side that I write on. So that's how I do it. And I guess I won't be making many because I only have one, two, three. So I guess I can make... I don't even want to make any because I need more than that. I'm not going to be able to see the orange. And I want them all to be yellow. Hmm. I want them all, all of them have to be yellow. So. I wonder if I can order just yellow. Janae, see if you can find the yellow index card 3x5. Yellow index card three by five lined. I order me two packs of those because I mean the yellow looks way better. So let me let me get them in order and put them where they how they supposed to look. So you see what I'm saying? The yellow looks way better. You can act. I can act. I can see them better. Okay, so here's another one. So you see the messages, and so the way that I do it is when I'm doing my own psychic intuitive counseling sessions and I want deeper insight on what the Kipper fortune deck may have shown me that's when I get the, the actual get to the point like I want to know like get to the point so for example let's see one of these oh this is just a song oracle <laughs> okay so the song oracle came about when the lovers came up and some other uh, another combination of like you know answer combination of cards came out to answer my question when is my union coming into play right and so to make sure that i'm really feeling my divine masculine very close to me 
this card, which I love this song by New Edition, I'm Coming Home. Okay, and now the release 1988, I was guided to write that on there to say if this masculine is someone that's younger than I am or not. So if something else in the spread comes up saying that this person is younger than I am, then this will give me a guesstimation, approximation of how much younger. Because Spirit has shown me that it is someone, even if he's not physically, even if he's not younger as by age, he may be young at heart, you know, very vibrant, full of loving energy um, and, and really just very playful, but very serious. You know, he can be very stoic and don't don't play no don't play no games about his about his wife, his 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 fam, you know, his everything that he loves, right? Anyway, I'm describing him. Yeah, so yeah, so that's that. But um so let's let's get another card. All right. <laughs> so with the lovers and the courtship card. Sometimes, you know, it'll feel like it because this is all about reading the energy, guys. Y'all can't just be buying into these tarot readers that are just like doing any and everything on their channels like that with all these salacious stories. Because do you, so you're trying to tell me you don't really know how to just be honest about how your life is played out. If it's, it's let's say it's in, in regards to relationship. Just be honest with how your life played out with this particular person. So then you use your own intuitive powers. First of all, you go within yourself and you do some soul searching and then you ask the, the creator how to interpret the information that you have thus far. Then I would, I would prefer you, I'm serious. I said the word prefer you to actually start using oracle cards. Do not start with the tarot. You can buy the right away. Did I explain this card? I don't think I did. Let me get back to it. So basically with the with the uh, with the lover's card and the um the courtship, you will probably want to know, well, I don't know, like I I can't really tell. I can't really read. I mean, he's he's so like, you know, quiet and but it's like a strong quiet and he just don't really express his feelings and i don't know and it just irritates me and then this card comes out it says twin flame you guys are going through the runner chaser phase right so that is very important to know because if you feel as the feminine energy you really feel a strong connection to this masculine energy and something in your heart space is like not going to let you let it go like you know, and this is not for women that are just so young, like, and just, you know, oh, no, no, you know, no, you got to have some wisdom in, in, in regards to showing, seeing how you played a part in any breakdown in your life, any come ups, breakdowns, all of it. You got to really realize how these things manifested in your life came, came to, you know, came to pass by taking that responsibility, doing that deep dive, soul searching. Okay. But I uh, back on the, the, um, oracle cards versus the uh tarot so that's how these actually work you know they definitely are powerful okay so whenever i start to do this for a general energy read because anytime i ever do anything it'll all be on the same channel for in general it's just for somebody in general it'll be a really deep dive into letting them know what's going on you know what i'm saying seriously like this is no if you really truly believe that love heals all wounds that the power of love is so it's like the air you breathe if you really believe in love to that extent then you definitely will want to get to the point and a lot point but because we're like that as humans we want to know like i just want to know i mean is he the one she the one should i should i propose da, da, da. but the way i would do it is to give you a whole lot of homework to work on self and for you to really be you know when i say a whole lot meaning like it's, it's gonna take a lot for you to really do that deep dive and that soul searching to understand yourself you know and your mission in life and then how does that person play a part does that make sense okay 
So why I said I would prefer you to start your journey with Oracle cards. Okay. So I would really, really, really be, what's that word I'm looking for? Mindful. That wasn't the word I was looking for, but that'll work. I would really be mindful of dealing with someone who strictly reads tarot. Strictly. Strictly. Okay? I'm serious. So, if you wanted to get yourself the Rider Waite deck, that's fine. That's fine. But the truth be told, you definitely are going to need an Oracle card deck. And to me, I feel like the very... The, the best oracle card deck to start with is the one that you're drawn to the one that you're drawn to for me it was the doreen virtues life purpose okay i got this one this is a little baby one my daughter got but i have the the regular size i got this card this deck is this uh deck as well but i never really did use it because it was just kind of freaky to me like just kind of uh, i don't know i don't know i don't know it's just it was very off-putting to me in, at first and so, um, yeah, so you have to get the Oracle cards. So, um, the one that I would, I would really, 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 really give you a suggestion to, to get is this one right here, the Quantum Oracle and Oracle of the Seven Energies. The Quantum Oracle and the Oracle of the Seven Energies. I'm using the boxes tops over there, guys. So that's why I don't have a box. Um, yeah. Okay. For for show. For show. Okay. So that's that's how I would do that. You know, because I'm just showing y'all how I started my shadow work journey. Okay. Okay. And so yeah. So Miss Diva, did you hear what I asked you to do? Should I need you to give me some three by five. Yeah, this this neon yellow color with the lines. Three by five. And I need two of those ordered. Because I still got plenty of these. And probably give me probably give me one more of these with the multicolors that I got. Yeah, because I like to make my own Oracle card. So I'm not gonna even make those because just three of them. I like to get. I think my daughter says that she needs to use about four of these. Four of these will fit. And then if I have some little bitty baby ones or something that would go in there as well. So like on the sheet for the for the, the, the laminator, she would have like four of these. She have, have four of these placed like this and like that and then the other one. Down. And so then it might be a space for me to have some of the little miniature cards in between because I don't like to waste all that lamination paper so yeah and that's how I do it and that's how I do it guys and so you know yes I'm very 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 serious about my healing work for others but I definitely must <laughs> work on self okay and that's why I will always um suggest and give the spiritual uh, um counseling you know i mean the the, um, the counseling session will always be about you tapping into your own spiritual being your own higher consciousness yes you have to be participating okay participate all right so yeah we're gonna go ahead and so i can't do any of those until i get those yellow cards uh, today would have been a perfect day because she's off and um anyway so Another one is this Kyle Gray Angel. Kyle Gray Angels. So it's 42.36 in right now. Let me stop and come back because I'm telling you, I don't really know. But I'm going to just keep going. So, you know, I've been really, really, really feeling, you know, some kinds of ways about, you know, my, my, my health conditions and stuff. So, which is very necessary to feel some kind of way about because I mean shit it's affecting me for real for real 
So, um, I'm gonna have to, I don't know where I'm gonna put these at. We gotta get better sticky notes, I know that. So, I'm gonna pull a couple of these. <laughs> Express your creativity. I was just doing that right now, right? Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. Okay, yes, indeed. Okay, so we'll take that one out because that goes with it. So, you know, I just wanted to just, like, give myself, I always have to motivate myself, you know what I'm saying, um, to not allow this health stuff to really just take me to that dark place of, I guess I'm going to keep them right there. That dark place of no return. You feel me? And it's very, 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 where are these, where are these at? It's very, very, very pertinent that I stay in a high vib a high vibrator, a loving vib vibratory. Uh, mm, how am I trying to say it? It's very, very, very important that I stay in a very high vibe energy. And high vibe for me is always focusing on love. <laughs> it looks, okay, it's like I'm not going to even need to shuffle. Love and accept yourself. You see that? Oh, my goodness. Thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do my prayer. I call in the elements of fire for love's compassion, water for the soul's purification, air for the flow of communication, and earth to ground me in the healing protection of my ancestors, my guardian angels, the cosmic elders, and the divine spirit that created us all. Praise be to the most high sun. I definitely am trying to find my way, trying to understand how did everything get so distorted and how did so many lies infiltrate into the souls of gods people that i like to call spirit the creator soul yes and i do believe that there was a sacrificial lamb to be the atonement for the sins of humankind i just don't understand how that that he had to be a white man when i seen so many of my black people my carbonated people my people of color you know, be ostracized and 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 raped and 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 murdered and burned and hung all by the hand of a white man, yet we worship a white Jesus. I just cannot believe that we just came by some kind of a ship or something. I don't know. I'm still trying to find my way, but I do okay, guys, so this camera. I mean, this phone does weird things where it literally won't delete old stuff. It should have been deleted. So it, it knocked my video out. Okay. So I just deleted like four hours of stuff that's old that I already uh, edited and put out. Like it's weird. Wow. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. The Divine Mother. Thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love I deserve. The Divine Mother. So we're going to read that. The Divine Mother. I think it's under Unconditional Love. Unconditional Love. Yeah. Okay, so we're reading about the Divine Mother. You are blessed to receive the guidance and support of the Divine Mother at this time. Her nurturing and loving spirit fills your energy like a cup so that you can feel whole again. Together with her angels, she knows that at times you can feel unloved and find it difficult to share your love with others. 
she's here to help you see that it is just a you <laughs> she is here to help you see that it is just as blessed to give as to receive love you have given so much of yourself in life and love now it's time to receive oh my gosh gratitude so the expanding in, i can't mercury retrograde let this gemini speak the expanded interpretation says you are never too old to be mothered and the divine mother sends her blessings to you at this time so that you can feel wrapped and secure in her love you are being encouraged to love yourself and to see that you are deserving of love so that the divine mother can work with your angels to bring healing and miracles into your life you are a being of unconditional love it's natural to love and be loved because it's who you are Oh, 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 oh,